hello on Facebook land. It's Easter Saturday. It's an interesting time in the life of the church um, on any Holy Week. That time between Good Friday and Easter Sunday morning. It's interesting for the, for the church as we um, prepare for the gathering of Easter. It's interesting for our, our worship committee as we start to make the transition. Um, the black cloths are still out from Good Friday. Um, the white cloth is already draped over the cross um, in anticipation of what we know will happen tomorrow. Um, as, we, as, we re, we, as we put the church back together, as we sing that wonderful hymn, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. And it's an interesting time in the life of the church because we aren't quite sure what to do on this holy Saturday. Sit by a fire and keep the embers burning is one of the ancient traditions. Just get ready. Be prepared. This year, of course, it's a, it's a little different than it has been in the past because Easter Sunday is traditionally the largest Sunday in attendance of the year. And we know that tomorrow that the attendance in person will be limited to a few people, the tech support, and a few others who are needed to, to make the program and the worship service work for um, our online distribution. But the truth is, no matter what year it is or what day it is, what year for Holy Week, Holy Saturday is a time where we anticipate the good news of Easter Sunday. We show up and we hear the story of an empty tomb. He is not here. He is risen. We show up and we look back upon the cross and recognize that he's not on the cross either. He is risen. We look back and we recognize and see once again that Christ is not in the ground. He's not on the cross. He is out there waiting waiting for those who would follow him to meet him, to engage with him, to see him, and to know that not only is he not in the grave, he is alive and he is risen and he is showing us what we need to do and where we need to go. So yes, it's Easter Saturday. That's Saturday before Easter uh, a, a weird, awkward time, again, in the life of the church. An awkward time in the life and history of who we are today. But we know what we need is resurrection. We know we need new life and we need to experience that. And we need, we need to come tomorrow and gather together such as it is in online and virtual and social media type ways. And we need to allow the spirit to enter our hearts for us to meet face to face with Jesus and to recognize that he left that tomb empty, not so that we would stand there looking at it, he left that cross empty, not that we would stand there and look at it, but that we might know the way, and the way is to follow him. Again, we look forward till tomorrow morning. I look forward to being with you at 647 a.m. for our sunrise service. I look forward to being with you at 930 right back here in this room as we sing those grand hymns of Easter Sunday morning. And then at 10 o'clock, I look forward to being with you as we celebrate from the Life Center our Easter worship service. Let us pray. Lord, on this holy Saturday,
as we stand in the echoing chamber of this empty sanctuary, we stand waiting to celebrate the resurrection. And as we stand waiting to celebrate the resurrection, we stand waiting to celebrate not just the resurrection of Jesus from the grave, but the resurrection of all of us to a new life and a new way of living, knowing that we have encountered the living Christ. It's in his name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.